Welcome to Strategy Saturday. I'm Charles Krill, and today we're going to be discussing what to do when a tenant moves out. Have you always wanted to invest in real estate, but didn't have the time, didn't know where to find the deals, couldn't get the funding, and didn't want tenants calling you? Since 2006, I've been buying income-producing properties in great locations that provide us with consistent passive income while we wait for appreciation in the future and take advantage of tax laws while we're waiting. And unlike your financial advisor, we invest alongside our investors in every property we purchase. Check out investwithharborside.com. If you like the idea of investing in real estate, if you like the idea of passive income, partner with us at investwithharborside.com. That's investwithharborside.com. There's a process for landlords when a tenant moves out, and this process starts when the tenant notifies a landlord about not renewing the lease and their intentions to vacate the unit. This process will be different if your tenant is moving out because of not paying rent or they're being evicted, but if the tenant has fulfilled their lease and they choose not to renew, this would be the process to follow as a landlord. Once a tenant notifies the landlord of their intentions to move out, the first course of action for the landlord should be to send a move out letter. This letter is restating the move out terms of their lease and details the move out process for the tenant and clearly communicates the landlord's expectations so the tenant can quickly receive their security deposit back. At the same time, let them know that they will need to schedule a walkthrough so you can review and discuss any potential damages together. I would include a copy of the checklist you'll be completing during the walkthrough. This way it is transparent what you are looking for and the tenant will not be surprised when they get their security deposit back. When the move out inspection happens, record the condition of the property. When I self-manage properties, I would write a check on the spot to return the security deposit. This minimizes potential future issues, but most property managers will perform the walk through and then their boss will sign off on it and inform their bookkeeper to send the check. Now, state laws vary about security deposits, but if you perform the move out inspection with the tenant, this will minimize issues. If there is an issue during the inspection, they'll be aware of it and it will not become a problem down the road. Uh, the problem with security deposits happen when there is a move out, uh, there's not a move out letter and a joint walkthrough, and then there's a lot of unknowns, which will become problems. If you walk the unit with the tenant, and there's a stay on the carpet, they see it, you see it, you tell them it will be deducted, they are aware of it being deducted right there. It is better to have a disagreement in the unit than months down the road when people are wondering why you deducted $400 from their security deposit. A final note, take lots of pictures before someone moves in, upon move out, and save and date them. In the future, you can show them you know, what the unit looked like prior and upon move out. Most tenants just want the security deposit back and rather have it back quickly, even if it is a little less than they were expecting. After the inspection, the tenant gives you back the keys. You should immediately change the locks of the property and begin preparing it for rental. So I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to rate, review, subscribe, submit comments and potential show topics at globalinvestorspodcast.com. Look forward to two more episodes next week. See you then. Nothing in this episode should be considered specific, personal, or professional advice. Any investment opportunities mentioned on this podcast are limited to accredited investors. Any investments will only be made with proper disclosure, subscription documentation, and are subject to all applicable laws. Please consult an appropriate tax, legal, real estate, financial, or business professional for individualized advice. Opinions of guests are their own. Information is not guaranteed. All investment strategies have the potential for profit or loss. The host is operating on behalf of Syndication Superstars, LLC, exclusively.